Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here today. We are doing missions again, so if you click on missions, go to uh, Rocky Exploration and click Track Mission. And then we have to head over to Rocky Lake, that's where we're going to be fishing to do this mission. So I'm showing you here at the beginning for a change, rather than me showing you at the end. Because normally I always show you, well, you obviously have to watch the whole video. So this, by me doing this, is just speeding up the process for you guys that little bit quicker. So... I'm putting on the hooks here, as you can see, the hooks that I have chosen. And you can also see the rods and the bait that I'm using. The rods are not very important. The line that I'm using, again, is well overpowered. The rods are well overpowered, so are the reels. But I'm just using the, these rods and reels because that's what I have. So because that's what I have, that's just what I'm using. So, yeah, you don't need exactly the same rods. You don't need the same reels. You don't need the same line. You could do this with a very low end rod. Uh, you wouldn't need to be a very high level to do this mission. You can do it, yeah, with a very weak rod. And you'll be able to get this done, so that is really good. We do normally use face cam, but I don't use face cam when I make videos like this. I only use face cam whilst being live, and obviously we use the mic. But when I make videos like this, I just use the mic. So if you are interested in Fishing Planet, good reason to subscribe, turn notifications on. When them new updates do come, we try and push those updates to you as quick as we possibly can. Showing you new, new boats, new rods, reels, tackle, new lakes, anything that Fish and Planet has to offer. We tell you about the updates, we tell you when they're coming, as soon as I find out I let you guys know. And yeah, we've done lots of lots of missions on Fish and Planet. You could check out some of the other ones on our channel if you need to find another mission. I'm pretty sure we do have it. If we don't have it, we will definitely have it soon. I just... I don't know, you guys really, really like it when I do these missions. There's so many good feedbacks and you guys are really happy about it. So I thought, well, as you are enjoying it, I'm going to give you more of that content that you guys are enjoying. All right, so the bait that we're going to be using is dough balls. We're going to use dough balls. We're going to use red worms as well. We're also going to use some wax worms. Uh, whereabouts are they? Let's see. I'm in my home storage. There you go, wax worms. You could probably use yellow maggots, they would work. Caster maggots, they would probably work. There's quite a lot of things that would work, but I'm just showing you what I'm using. So the most important thing is, it does not matter if you don't have the same rod and reel. As I say, that's not important, all the same line. Just make sure you look at the same hook that I'm using and the same bait that I'm using. That's very important. And obviously the location and the time of where we're fishing, always look at that. So we are now in Rocky Lake and as you can see there on the left hand side it says Rocky Exploration. That means the mission is tracked. If you don't see that, you haven't tracked it properly. So there's our first fish that we need, which is the Golden Shiner. That was on Red Worms Hash 8. Definitely make sure it says, make sure it says, because I've done this before with the missions. Make sure it says Rocky Exploration, because if it does not say that, and then you end up um, trying to do this mission and nothing's happening, yeah, that's why. So you've got to make sure it says that on the left there to make sure that the, you are actually doing the mission. So wax worms, as I say, they're, they're gonna be good for our bluegill. That's why I've got those on. So hook hash one with the maggots. You can use a float rod, you can use a bottom rod. Either way, it's gonna get the job done. So yeah, you don't have to have only a float rod or only a bottom rod. Either way, this is gonna work, but it's definitely gonna be a bait. It's going to be a bait option. <laughs> you could probably do... I don't know if you could do this with spinning. I honestly don't think you could. But you never know. But bait is the, definitely the best way to go. So red worms again. we got the hook hash eight on there. And there you go. There's the black crappy that we, we needed. We catch quite a few of those here at this location. To be honest, I didn't really need to put any edits into this video at all. I did, but I didn't really need to. You could probably get this done in around about 20 minutes real time. Or maybe even less than that. You do catch these fish at a really, really insane fast pace. By the time I stop recording, I'm hitting record for the next fish again. So on this one, I tried the dough balls with the hash one. We got a golden shiner again. I just wanted to show you that. And then dough balls again. We got the hash one. And there you go. There's the bluegill. That's, I was actually expecting to get that with the wax worms. But we got it with the dough balls. That's all right. That's, that's Yeah, that's still good. And then... Now we've got the bottom rod going off again. Red worms, this is with the hash eight. I think the, the white sucker was the fish that took that a little bit longer to catch. I, I, that's what it feels like to me, I could be wrong. But yeah, it felt like the, the, uh, the white sucker did take a little bit more time. So wax worms, I'm trying to now, at the moment, go for that white bass. 
Again, I never actually, yeah, the white sucker was the last fish that I went for, so that's probably why it does seem like it was the longest. These rods just go crazy. They don't stop, it's non-stop. So red worms on this one, hook hash eight. And, okay, another black crappy. And then this one, I think this one is the one where we get our, the, the white bass. So again, using red worms, hash eight. Yep, okay, so there we go. There's our white bass. Nice. All right, the last one then. So white sucker, we do have the, the other video of this, the Rocky Trial, that, that is coming straight after this video, just in case you wanna do that one as well. So we're using semolina balls, the hook hash eight. There we go, there's the white sucker, that's what we needed, awesome. Yeah, so it felt like that did take a little bit longer, but then I didn't put the semolina balls on until the last point. So maybe if I put those on a little bit earlier, it could have been, we could have caught it a little bit quicker. Rocky Exploration, 1,300 cash, one gold coin, and we got some barbless hooks, hash one slash zero. So that's pretty good. So coming in here into missions, we have the trial, which as I say, that's going to be the next one, Rocky Trial. That's going to be the next one that we do do. That one's really is interesting, that one. So make sure you, even if you don't want to do it, make sure you watch that one because there's quite a few things you do get from it, not just that. There's quite a few things that we get that is, uh, that's going to help you along your ways. So probably a good idea to keep an eye out for that. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. My controller's giving me really big problems. It keeps on scrolling up and trying to scroll down. It's just, it's not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little messed up. All right, so we can also do the Rocky Careful Angler. Again, that one will be coming, but first I want to do the Rocky Trial. That one to me, yeah, that is, that's that's going to be good. Make sure you don't miss that one. So that's going to be it. Hope this helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Keep an eye on those updates. We'll let you know. And uh, yeah, drop a like. That's it. we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.